Good morning, can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning, you can hear me okay? You can hear, as long as you can hear me. <laughs> I did check all my audio last night. Doesn't mean it's working. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just for you, Chris. <laughs> oh, sweetie, thank you. Seventy months. Amazing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Heart you? That is amazing. Thank you, my friend. You are beautiful. Zepsia, good morning. Good morning. I have my I have my coffee. I hope you've got your beverage of choice. Hi Zep Zep. I love it. <laughs> I thought I'd come on a little bit earlier. Um, oh, Zep, thank you. Thank you. He's always Zep Zep. Exactly. Oh, what's my mother doing texting me? FaceTime. Uh, I've got a show. Hang on. Let me just text my mother because she's trying to FaceTime me. I've got a show. Talk later. It's probably more um uh it's it's probably something as simple as uh are you doing washing? Have you done washing? You know, are you using the washing machine? Um, is execute working? What time is he working? <laughs> it's it's probably one of those those two things. So that would be my my guess. But um, again, thank you both. That's that's wonderful. Greatly appreciate that. Oh, okay. Well, I think we've got everything. I think we've got everything that we should have. You can hear me, so that's always positive. Um, just bear with me. I have um, I've not been well, and I'm. I'm very raw today. <laughs> um, I've pulled a sciatic sciatic nerve, and um, I couldn't walk. Friday I could barely walk. I was actually using Mum's walk walking stick, so it's still not a hundred percent. So um, yeah. So we're not gonna have a <laughs> we're not gonna have a long show. Um, sitting's not too bad, but, but still, I'm still, um, very tender down my right side from my hip to about my ankle. It's, it's a bit, um, yeah, not fun. Pain has not been good at all. Um, so yeah, so I've taken some Panadol just to try and keep it at bay a little bit. So, um, as I said, just bear with me, <laughs> but, uh, we will, we will do what we need to. If I've missed anything in the news, I've tried to have a look to see, it didn't look like a huge amount of news. So if I've missed anything, let me know, throw it in the chat. Um, 
and you know I think we're at that lull period between the end of the expansion the beginning of an expansion so there's kind of not a lot of a lot of news pertaining at the moment so hopefully I've covered everything and apologies is if I haven't but um, let me know in the chat and um, I'll try and make sure I've got stuff sorted so all right um okay well it's 9 a blah, blah, blah. words are hard I do have coffee it's very coffee and chocolatey I've got a mocha <laughs> sometimes you've just got to have the coffee and the chocolate to you know get the brain functioning um it doesn't always work <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's get started. Uh, where am I? All right. Intro. Let's go. In three, two, one. Whatever it is you enjoy about the world of Warcraft, we have a challenge for you. Adventure. Craft it. This is the WoW Challenges Podcast, and here's your host, Lita. Hello and welcome to the WoW Challenges Podcast. I'm your host, Lita. This is episode 363 on Saturday, July 6, 2024. Or if you're here in Aussie land or in those parts of the world where it's actually Sunday, it's Sunday the 7th. Welcome, chat room. First off, Chris... You beautiful woman, you you have subscribed for 70 months, which, mwah, mwah, mwah. hang on, where's my little hearty heart heart? Thank you very much, that is wonderful, and Zep Zep, <laughs> Zep has subscribed again, and 16 months in total, wonderful, so thank you very, very much, appreciate that, um, all money goes towards keeping the website afloat. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and good morning, Mrs. Ranguru. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so we just started, and um, so thank you for joining me today. Appreciate it. It's just me today. We're just having a, a little solo show. Um, as I said, it's it's probably not going to be very long. Um, I have done a, a, the nerve sep, septus. Uh, anyway, I've done the nerve and in my right hand side, and so I've not been fantastic. But um, I didn't want to cancel the show <laughs> because I only really cancel if I'm really not well and I thought we can sit for a bit and talk about some stuff and um and yeah there's the show <laughs> that's that's my that's my thought process was cover a couple things and as I said if I've missed anything in the news let me know but let's start off with um some of the stuff so We've got a congratulations to Working Dead on becoming our ninth Dragonflight Working Man Challenge Champion. This is another of Crimson's tunes. So this is Crimson's sixth max level tune. Uh, the write-up for Working Dead is up on the website. I managed to get that done yesterday. So if you want to go and check that out. Uh, Crimson has certainly been a force to be reckoned with. 
he has, uh, as I said, six max levels uh, for Dragonflight so far, which is fantastic. Congratulations to them. That is wonderful. And Working Dead is a working man, um, undead. And just from memory from the post, this was the first Horde tune that um, they said that they had done and they're interested in trying some more Horde side because all the other ones have been Alliance. So yeah, so that's, that's fantastic. So congratulations to Crimson on Working Dead, uh, getting max level, which is wonderful. All right, uh, fun times. It's the beginning of the month. So the beginning of the month, we've always got some good stuff. Well, one really one good thing for challenge tunes, Dark Moon Fair. <laughs> my, it would have to be my favorite world event because it happens every month. It is, uh, we talked about it a couple of episodes ago where I did uh, the live showing of what you do to take a challenge tune down there. So if you want to check that out, go back maybe two episodes. Was it 361 or 360? Um, but Dark Moon Fair will start this afternoon for me. But the Wowhead says it starts on the 7th at 2, 2.01 a.m., which is weird time frame. Is that Pacific? It didn't say. Anyway, um, it does start and it'll go until next week, until the 14th. So again, if you've got a new challenge turn, if you're just getting ready, some people like to start a challenge soon and kind of pop them to the side that if something happens with a challenge turn that they've currently got, then they know, you know, they can jump over and take on this challenge turn that they've already kind of started off. So it depends how you play. I tried that. I, it's not my favorite. I kind of just try and stick with one. I've got too many alts as it is, including challenge tunes. And I've had to cull some in the last couple of months because I just becomes an addiction <laughs> having alts. Um, and yeah, and trying to focus on one or two things can be a little, gets a little bit crazy. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, we'll, we'll up to you what you do, but if you've started a new tune or it's a tune that you haven't taken to Dark Moon Fair, certainly pop down. You can get yourself a 16 slot bag, the Dark Moon storage box. It's unique. You can only have one. Um, obviously if you're a blood, don't do it cause it will flag you. Bloods are no questing. It's all about just killing. So, um, if you're bloodthirsty, absolutely don't take any of the quests, but, um, your other tunes should be okay. Be very careful if you're on a pacifist. Because, again, proximity kills, aggroing. You've got the death <clears throat> death metal knight. Um, so you don't want to be around that while people are aggroing him. You've got the wolf, which I'm moonfang. Um, so, again, if you're on a passy, try and go at a off peak. Might be safer. Um, all right. So Chris, I do have a request from someone who was able to be here. If you'd be so kind, they'd like you to open the full blood list and check out the tune in spot 40 
seven. Okay, let me go to the website. Um, uh, Blood 47. Okay, this is intriguing. <laughs> you have me intrigued. Let me have a look. Who's at, uh, who's at 47? Uh, number 47. All right, let me go to... We need to... Let me find Bloods. Bloodthirsty. I wonder... Bit disconcerting when you see yourself on the front page of the website. Quite often, obviously, when I go to the website, it's like, you know, well, challenges is offline, but it's like, whoa, good morning. <laughs> Okay, so number 47, 47, 47. Now, honestly, I had a feeling this was going to be the case only because when I looked at the state of the challenges and I was putting all the state of the challenges into the show notes, I kind of went, huh, well, that's intriguing. Is he back? And I've not, I've not heard. I'm, honestly, I haven't been paying attention to who's streaming. I've just been trying to, between work and home and um, dad had, um, my dad had surgery on Monday. It's, it's just been crazy. My dad had surgery um, here uh, on his right hand arm and and, um, he, and a skin graft. And um, so he's <laughs> he's been incapacitated. Uh, Mum's not well. I've kind of had this uh, sciatic nerve flare up. And, um, yeah, it's kind of been a bit crazy and I've not paid attention to who's been streaming. Normally I do, but I've just not this week. So when I saw this name, I just went, I really hope he's back and no one's like decided to just have a, have a bit of a joke. Chris says, Lol, he is. He is at work and let me know yesterday. It's him. Excellent. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm, just, I'm talking about Zords. And I have missed him so much. I know I caught up with him um, uh, a while ago and, um, and had a bit of a chat to him. And, you know, life... Life gets, like, how are we in July, guys? <laughs> Life is just going far too fast. So, um, I'm thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled that he's back playing WoW. <laughs> I always thought it would happen. <laughs> I just didn't know when. Um, so I'm, I'm really thrilled that he's back playing WoW. And I'm even more thrilled that if he's back playing challenge tunes, yay. So he's on a pally, which makes me, you know, which makes me thoroughly um, excited because I think pally kind of was one of his kind of like go-to um, classes when he was playing a challenge tune. So I am I am really, really thrilled to hear that. So hang on, where's my little let's do a little why won't that go to the next page? Okay, hang on. My stream deck is being a shit. <laughs> All right. That's not what one. Yay, Lita. That's fantastic. Anyway, Zords is back. That is, I am so thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled. That is, wow, that is such great news. I'm, I'm really glad. So thank you, Chris. 
I definitely would have been asking those questions um, when we went through the state of the challenges. Because again, I know that some people do take others' names. Sometimes it's a bit of a joke. Sometimes it's in kind of like a tribute. Um, so sometimes it's hard to know if that, you know, if it is that person or not. So um, if he's back playing WoW and also back in the challenges. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Zorts, if you're listening, welcome back. Ah, <laughs> uh, that will have to, we will have to do a catch up, Zorts. Let me know. I'll reach out to him uh, for sure try and get him on. I've been meaning to do that for a while, so <laughs> what? De yeah, definitely. We we definitely have to have a, a chat and a, a catch up with him. It's It's been uh, far too... Mind you, the way this year is going, maybe, you know, we just get him straight back for, you know, end of year like we, we normally have done. Death, death list. I'm sure he'll have some stories to tell. <laughs> anyway, that is that is wonderful news. So uh, really thrilled about that. But again, um, getting back to Darkmoon Fair. Darkmoon Fair starts. So look at if that's something that you haven't done on your challenge tune. That will give you some gold. Give you your... Um, Dark Moon storage box, which is a 16 slot bag, which is really handy starting off a challenge turn. The 10 gold also happens to be really fantastic. And also to remind yourself that if you're doing any of the games or getting other tickets, go turn it back in to get like do the buy box sell buy sell to get yourself your gold and strip yourself out of the tickets because on a challenge tune you don't need them if that makes sense that was one of the things that i was talking to you about when we did the live of of dark moon fair um on a challenge tune i don't care i don't like leaving anything on a challenge tune so if i've got tickets or whatever I want to get rid of them because if I lose that tune and I've got stuff sitting on them it kind of feels like a waste so at least if I'm turning it in for gold the gold gets sent to my bank too because <laughs> I'm a I'm a bit of a hoarder <laughs> um which is not a bad thing, and I'm hoping with the War Within that some of that is going to pay off because I'm sure I've got stuff that's been sitting in my bank for probably near on 20 years on some tunes that I'm just going to be like, sweet, <laughs> I can learn that now. I know, I just... Yeah. <coughs> Yes, I, and my husband would probably tell you I am a, I am a bit of a hoarder. Um, I do have a lot, <laughs> a lot of stuff. I'm just looking around my room and I've got, you know, I've got, um, so many <laughs> things. I collect a lot of different things, guys. Books. Wow stuff, like anything that's kind of like gothic, um, you know, alternate. I mean, look at my backdrop. I, I have lots of different things. And then I have the absolute opposite, like my Star Wars and my Betty Boop and things like that. So I have lots. <laughs> I am a mixture of many things and coffee I have many different coffee things that I collect machines coffee apparatus coffee coffee 
coffee, definitely coffee. <laughs> and coffee, absolutely. And uh, I did call my coffee mugs a little while ago. Coffee is my blood. Absolutely. Where is it? Coffee is my blood. I even have a, co a cup that... I don't want to, like, pour coffee all over my keyboard. My blood type is coffee. Like, a, like what can you do? When you see that on a website, you have to just go buy. <laughs> it's mine. I need. Need it. <laughs> I, my husband will probably say, yeah, you do that with far too many things. <laughs> Like nail polish, like coffee, <sighs> makeup, <laughs> well stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so the other thing is a reminder: the war within Ghost Live August twenty sixth. We did talk about this last show. Um, we have a date. Which, again, I still can't believe it's going to be all. It's next month. Uh-huh. I can't even... I just... It's the anxiety of I'm not going to get everything I want done for this expansion in time before the next expansion hits. It happens every expansion. And I'm not just talking about my my main. I'm also talking about my challenge soon. I'm also talking about my Remax Panda. Um, I just, <laughs> like, overwhelmed anxiety is just like, seriously, you're coming out in August. Like, God damn it. <laughs> So, um, we're with you. Thank you, Chris. Yes, I think we're all a bit like that. Honestly, I thought it was going to be November again. Like, when they initially said it was going to be in kind of like the second half of the year, I I wasn't even thinking August. I for sure thought, well, it's probably going to be somewhere around about late October, November. So, I wasn't worried until they released it and then I went damn damn it <laughs> so anyway um so there is um testing beta is going on again um if anyone is doing any testing please let me know I have got some I've got a like a google doc that has you know, all the places that if you want to put thoughts down about things that you're finding with testing, let me know. I can give you access to those. Um, I think Zaya said he was testing. I'm not sure. I know I've not had a chance to even look at getting um, beta at the moment. I think I can dive into it, but I haven't downloaded it yet um so it's like it's on my cards but it's just hasn't been it hasn't been a priority i'm trying to get my panda in remix because that's just fun i think she hit 54 very slowly i'm <laughs> it's just it's just it's all happening it's all happening and i just like i just can't stretch myself to doing it all if I could multitask like across doing a challenge turn remix and beta all at the same time <laughs> it would never happen but if I could that would be that would be fantastic but you know what would happen I'd lose the challenge turn and then I'd die I'd die on every single one <laughs> so it's like it's not such a good idea. 
Um, being that it is also the start of the month, we have got the... Where is it? Hang on, let me go back. I did put a... Uh, trading posts for July 2024 for those that are intrigued. I know, <clears throat> I know obviously a lot of the stuff is not really challenge related. However, you can do things on a challenge tune that will contribute to like the account because it's account wide so um you know like if there's questing it says go and do five dailies or um 10 quests or you know things like that so that might be stuff that you're doing actively anyway on your challenge tune and that can certainly contribute to the points that you're getting with um with for the trading post um i've completely gone blank what do we call it uh bu, 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 bu. i've gone blank to the thing that we do no it's completely lost me anyway to to that which is account wide so um wait what do we call it we blipped yeah what do we call it it's the the slot it's not the like I've come more band no what we click on to open it up the trading post <clears throat> quest points <laughs> just like, I just I cannot think of what it is I can see it adventure guide thank you I just had a complete mental blank I'm like what is it it's right there <laughs> oh my lord yes oh, honestly sometimes but anyway if you want to have a look at what's there um and again anything you know a lot of things the challenge tune might be able to do can contribute to that to get your points up um for the month and i know for me i get a little bit antsy when i get to about the 20th 21st 22nd and I haven't completed it and that happened to me last month that I was like I I need to get this done and because I don't it's a bit like long strange trip I don't know if anyone else feels that but that's how it feels to me it's like doing a long strange trip and i did a long strange trip originally i did it on later and the following year i did it on Attil and keela so this was before it was account wide and i just about finished it on keela because i finished it completely on a till the second time as well as nearly getting through keela and then they changed everything to go account wide <clears throat> and um it kind of feels like that so i don't want to miss a month <laughs> do you and i missed one thing on that and had to wait a whole year to do it again yeah and you know when you're a bit like a completionist um which i am in a lot of things um it's kind of like when i start on that trajectory of i want to get those you know that achievement or that goal that when you can't get something done oh it it burns <laughs> it hurts so i didn't want to um 
I didn't want to forgo the month with the, um, with doing the adventure guide because I was like, it, it will burn me for another 11 months. <laughs> so it was turkey lurkey. That used to be really tricky back in the day. I don't think it's as, as tricky now. And plus, I think they've added more turkeys, but they used to be quite scarce. I remember running around Tiraspol and just, you know, they were very sporadic. Whereas if I've done it more recently, it's not been as bad. So um, I'm pretty sure they did add more turkeys in for that. So um, that's just my observation. I could be wrong, but that's how it felt. It felt like me originally back in the day, they were very sporadic in Tiraspol, running around on leader trying to get that bloody achievement. <laughs> Whereas nowadays it just does not seem, yeah, Okay, I'm not completely making it up. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, that's um, trading post. Uh, again, I'll have the link. So for those that are interested in, you know, looking at the rewards, etc. Uh, I really wish that they would give me more coins I there's too many things to buy and last month I know I bought a lot <laughs> and so this month when stuff came out I went god damn it <laughs> I was like I'm gonna have I I need the mount like I need the mount and I need the pet that you get for completing for completing it because my god what's it called um what's it called it's so where is it where is it where is it um trishy trishy the baby naga pet like i'm sorry i need that i need that it doesn't matter what tune i'm on i need that it's freaking adorable the mount i need because it is just one the colors are adorable two c number one <laughs> uh but there is yeah there's a whole i think it was the backpack the treasure pack deep sea treasure pack i was like oh that that's adorable i don't think i'm gonna have enough to get that and other stuff but you know it's just like damn you damn you blessed um can you please just let give us some double points you know <laughs> anyway We'll see. So that's the July trading post. Have fun with it. It's only 6th, 7th today. So we've still got, you know, um, the rest of the month. But don't leave it till the last thing and stress over, like, sometimes what happens to me. And it's no fun <laughs> trying to do that. All right. Uh, let's do state of the challenges. So it's been an interesting week. Um, so I must be busy or away. So I'm not sure of one tune that came through on the um, state of the challenges. Um, so I'm kind of just going to go. Um, it's level eight, um, number eight. So I'll tell you in a minute so let's start with irons so at number 10 fan gren at level 31 number nine is iron man at level 34 number eight now it's eu i think it must have a like a cyrillic name or something but it came up as like question mark question mark like it's 
weird, so I don't know if it's our... I'm going to assume it's something in our coding from the State of Challenges. I said it was level 36. Um, it was supposed to be a human warrior, but I couldn't find a human warrior... I think it was a human warrior on the server, Gord, Gordine, Gordini, um, that matched that in the irons. So if that's your tune, let me know. Um, but I couldn't find a name for it. It just was very weird. Um, but it says they're still alive. So, yay, they haven't died, which which is like yay. But I couldn't find anything to match it on the website. We like a life, we do. <laughs> Unless you're undead. And I don't mind undead. <laughs> All right, number seven is uh, viv Vivacious, Vivacious, level 39. Number six is Iron Roy at level 43. Five is Pod Therapy. Level 48, RIP. Oh, damn. Pod Therapy was doing really well. RIP for that. Number four, Pringle Pants hit level 57. Number three, Mr. Hunter, level 57, but RIP. Oh, no. Oh, wonder what happened. Number two, uh, Nephion at level 65. Red flag, though. One uncommon slot. So, uh, I'm wondering if that was like what happened. Was it Azzy the other week? I know it's probably happened to a lot of us where you've equipped something and it's kind of turned before you've put it on and you didn't realize. I wonder if that's what happened. Because it only said one thing was um, equipped, whereas a lot of times when it shows everything's been equipped, like there's 16 things, you can tell someone's probably just gone, I'm not doing the challenge tune, I'm just going to run it like a normal tune, so hence red red flag so um yeah. Uh, number one though is Azzy Iron at level 66. All right, um, bloods. So we've got seven bloods this week. Seven is Blood Boy at level 11. Six was Eben Thirsty at level 14. Yellow flag because too many quests completed. Uh, number five, Bloody Thundy. Level 19. Number four... Zorts again. <laughs> Level 20. Go Zorts! Yay! He's back, he's back, he's back. Um, at number three is Jerakeen at level 33. Number two is Azzy BT at level 63. And number one is Lyari at level 65. Pacifists, we got 10 pacifists. We've got 10 is Katharina at level 12. 9 is Zyklon at level 14. Apologies if I'm butchering the names. Number 8 is Seraphine at level 15. Uh, 7 is Crimson Passy. Wonder if that's another crimson tune. Uh, level twenty-four. Six is Shonaf at level thirty-four. Number five is Passy Hafa at level forty-four. R.I.P. Number four, Azzy Passy at level forty-four. Three is Kilrend at level fifty-three. Number two is Linish at level 57. And number one was Harmless at level 60. 
All right, working man, there was only one, which was working dead, hitting level 70, becoming our ninth Dragonflight challenge champion for working man. Greens, we had four greens. Number four is Drenia at level 10. Three is Misikem at level 20. Two is Evie Schnuggle at level 24. I'd say that must be Evie. Evie's back playing challenge tunes. Uh, well done. And number two is Tessade. Tessade? At level 30 RIP. Tins. We had two tins. Uh, Sunny Buck at level 22. And Anx. Anx. Maybe it's Anx at level 47. And we had one iron team, <clears throat> um, team Brubus, Brubris, Brubris, level 10, but they were red flagged. Um, so again, whether they just had started a team, decided, no, they weren't going to continue on because there was a whole heap of slots of gear equipped so <coughs> sorry excuse me everyone no bloods no green teams but again a like a little bit of a rough week we've got a couple of flags a few deaths but again well done to working dead that's crimson's uh turn and to everyone that's been leveling well done that's fantastic and again, it's the end of an expansion. A lot of times people are, you know, off doing other things. So it's nice to see that people are, are busy. Um, some are still leveling, which is fantastic. And I know, as he's got an iron, a blood, a passy. Um, I'm pretty sure he's got a green. He mustn't have played his green this week. I'm pretty sure he's got... <clears throat> iron, blood, passy, and a green. I'm almost positive that he's running four tunes. Which, again, fantastic. Uh, all right, let's go. Chit chat. Chit chat. Uh, so I've got one little joke. I was trying to find some... Some jokes are just this, uh, jokes are so subjective, but this one was cute. This one is cute. Um, so what do sea monsters eat? Fish and ships. <laughs> I'm sure I heard that one from my grandfather when I was like probably nine. It's probably been around for 50 million years, but it's just, it was very, very cute. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yeah, that's very cute. Uh, okay, Dave, if a people from Portugal are Portuguese, is a person from, if people from Portugal, is a person from Portugal a Portuguese? What? I don't. People from Portugal. I don't. Dev, I don't get it. Mm. I must be missing something. Sorry. If someone could explain it, my brain is just not computing. <laughs> I would like to say it possibly could be the medication, but it's probably just my brain. Um. So yeah. So, uh, if anyone needs to, geese goose. If people from Portugal are Portuguese, so in Portugal, Portuguese. Oh, geese goose. Okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> I completely didn't get that at all. <laughs> My apologies. 
Yes. Singular, plural, plural, singular. Uh, my brain was not even thinking that way. <laughs> I was just like, it just, yeah, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. It took me a minute. <laughs> it took me three minutes. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything else that I've missed news-wise? Um, please let me know now. Again, a big, a big thank you to both Chris and Zep for subs. Um, appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that very much. Uh, thank you, thank you. Seventy months for Chris, and what was it for Zep? Um. 16 months. Crazy. So thank you. That is a uh, very, it's very, very helpful for the website. Um, all right. Just trying to think if there was anything else I had to cover. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, as I'm wrapping up, if there is anything please um you my hero <laughs> chris is always our hero dave <laughs> we are very very blessed to have chris not only as like in this community but a friend to many she is wonderful so thank you cheers my dear <coughs> she's my spam as well which is you know, kind of, she's kind of a big deal to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, if there's anything else, just pop it in, in the uh, chat now and uh, I'll just start to wrap up. Cause like I said, this, was supposed, this is supposed to be a short show, even though I could probably just sit here and keep talking to you is like <clears throat> forever. Um, until my throat gives out, but we don't want to do that. So, um, and, uh, plus I still got to edit. Anyone else want to edit? <laughs> my least favorite part. <laughs> <coughs> Editing is never fun. Sorry. Excuse me. It's terrible. I didn't mute myself. Anyway. All right. Let's do a big thank you to all our wonderful Iron Lake. Let me put my little cute little heart on the screen. So to all of our Iron Elite, thank you very much for your contribution, whether that's through Twitch, whether that's through uh, Patreon, whether that's through um, just helping by the things that you do um, with with WoW Challenges. So thank you very much to these wonderful people. Awesome Trousers, Execute, Fair, Chris, Kitten Pop, Lita, Mark, Mr. Nisi, Mrs. Rock Guru, Rod, Stir, Stone, Tiber, aka Tiber, Wanima, Zaya, Zep, thank you very, very much. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, it does really help keep the website going. That's where the money goes to every every month. So thank you to the bunch of amazing to the Wild Challengers team. Seriously, I can't do it without you guys. So thank you very much for um, organizing this. You know, for the stuff in the background for helping out. Um, in Discord, on the website, the forums, um, and Twitch, all of that. Thank you so much. Awesome Trousers, Execute, Fair, Chris, Stir, and Zaya. Also to our Code Wardens, um, all that they do behind the scenes of looking at code, of playing, of fixing the little intricate parts of updating the website and that. Thank you very much. Uh, which is Zyra and Rudd, basically. So thank you guys. And 
<clears throat> again to you wonderful people for hanging out with me I do appreciate you giving your time to spend it with me I know everyone's time is very important so thank you Chris thank you Dave thank you Zep Mrs. Rock Guru thank you very much for being here anyone else in the chat that I don't see thank you for hanging out I appreciate that I will be back in two weeks, which will be the 20th. <laughs> you are pretty wonderful, Dave. We love you. Thank you. <clears throat> um, so 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, so, yeah, so at this stage, uh, if there's... I'm, I'm not foreseeing anything hugely. It's probably just going to be another, just like a basic um, show at this stage. Um, but yeah, if there's anything um, that we want to talk about, I might, I'll probably try and talk about some beta in early August. I don't think I'm going to have much time in the next couple of weeks uh to look at beta so i might have to wait till i'm on holidays and and look at it then but if anyone's got any beta thoughts that you want to share let me know um because again it's just um i just have not had a chance to delve into beta and um i'm not sure how things are looking challenge wise yet but i'm hoping to sit down and do that soon it's just finding time to do that um time <laughs> it's just time is going far too fast which is the case i think we can we can all um imagine on that um, all right, so where you can find us, don't forget, all wellchallenges.com, all the information, the socials, all of that's over there. Um, also, don't forget, we do have forums, so if you're looking for information, there's always a heap of information on our forums, how people, you know, safe quests, etc. So please go and have a look at that. Sorry, my nose is being itchy. <clears throat> um, so go and check that out uh, for sure. Where you can like contact me if you want to, please send it podcast at wowchallenges.com. That normally comes through to my personal email. So if you ever get an email from me, it's normally from leaderwow at gmail.com. You can send it there. Not worried. You can contact us via Twitter. Uh, discord any of those if you've got questions if you've got some thoughts on beta etc please let us know uh, where you can find me easiest probably link tree at leader wow uh, all my info for Twitter Instagram all of that all that stuff all that stuff <laughs> all the socials uh, is over there so definitely um, if you need to find me otherwise poke me through discord just remember I'm on Aussie time which is different to probably most of you so if I'm slow in replying I could be at work I could be asleep I will reply when I can so um, yeah uh, last thank yous to Mr. Nisi and to Execute for the intros and outro. We appreciate that very much. Um, uh, we love our intro and outro and um, we appreciate them both for doing that for us. And I think we have covered everything. Pretty sure. All right. I think we'll wrap it up. So, on that note, please, everyone, have a, a wonderful couple of weeks. Stay safe, both in and out of game, and I will catch you back here on the 20th. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>
The WoW Challenges podcast is a World of Warcraft gaming podcast produced by Lita, copyright 2024. Portions of this podcast belong entirely to Blizzard Entertainment. Music used for the show belongs to Kevin McLeod and Incomputech.com, as well as from Bensound.com. No copyright infringement is intended. All right, there we go. Um, has anyone got a show title? Where's my husband? Hi, husband. Hello. Um, <clears throat> time flies. Yeah. Boom. Done. <laughs> that is so true. Thank you, Chris. That is very, very true. All right. <clears throat> okay. Well, thank you again. Thank you everyone for hanging out. Um, please, please just stay safe. Have a wonderful couple weeks. Enjoy your whatever you're doing. Um, whatnot. Very excited. Uh, hopefully, um, sortsy sorts. Be excited to see how he goes with his pally. So, yes, that is very true, Dave scarily so yes all right i'm gonna cancel the stream thank you guys take care see you on the 20th